Greetings, Space Cadets. I'm Colonel Failure, and this is The Long Journey Home, uh, the brand new game, rather in the vein of FTL, but perhaps with slightly more RPG aspects to it. Uh, we are about to jump on our maiden voyage to Alpha Centauri, and in order to do so, we should crew our ship with... I'm going to stop it now. My my fake Shatner there for for those of you who uh, who appreciate such things. Yes, indeed. Uh, the nice people at Daedalus Software uh, have furnished me with a with a key in order to uh, to to show you a little bit about uh, what the long journey home is all about. And as mentioned, it is a little FTL like. Um, I've played ooh, about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour of the game, so I've got a feel for it. But I've started a fresh uh, a fresh game for you now. Um, uh, just so you can see what's going on. So to start with, we need to choose our crew, uh, and you've got uh, you've got these uh, these hapless ten uh, to choose from, um, and uh, and they all come with various different uh, abilities and and functions that they can add to your ship. Um, but uh, basically, I want uh, Malcolm Winters, who's a test pilot worth having a test pilot. Um, I also want Alessandra Iacovelli. Iacovelli? Okie dokie. Um, who's uh, who's a, a very straightforward engineer. These these chaps are going to be useful. Very useful. Uh, a botanist? No. Not interested. Uh, theoretical physicist? Nope. A civilian observer? I mean, I don't really want to be bringing a teenager along on this, uh, on this journey. Uh, neither do I think that a corporate CEO is really going to bring much to the party. Uh, a mission planner. Interesting. In, potentially. Uh, in, in the one, I'm, I'm going to go with the crew that I've already tried. So we've got Nikolai uh, Lebedev here, who is, uh, who is my researcher. And then uh, Kirsten Barrasso, uh, who is an astronaut. Which, given that we're flying a spaceship, I felt was, was potentially a wise move. Uh, now, we next get to choose our ship. We've got the Ulysses here, uh, which is, uh, you know, that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty standard kind of a ship kind of effort. Uh, or we can go with a slightly stronger, uh, better fuel tank, but not quite as good uh, jump range with the Endurance. Uh, or we can go for the Discovery. Heck of a jump range. Um, but, uh, but you know, in terms of strength, it's not so much. So we're going to stick with the Ulysses because it's right down the middle. We're going to change up the color scheme. Oh, that's, that's pleasant. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I want, I, want something, I want something that is uh, mature in nature. There we go. That's, that looks relatively mature. That's the sort of thing a, a grown-up would use. Uh, and then you've got the same choice again with your lander. The lander is all important. Um... Uh, because it's how you go and get additional resources once you're uh, once you're out and about. Now then, I think we will go with. Yeah, you see, I quite like this truck kind of deal going on, but it's but its fuel tank isn't the best. And and previously, I've run into trouble as far as fuel is concerned. So I'm going to go with the Serenity, this basic basic lander number. Um, uh, and then, as far as the seed is concerned, we shall go with this one. Standard seed there for those of you who want to uh, want to play along at home. Right now, I'm not going to sit you through the uh, through the tutorial. We will start uh, down the deep end. Stay tuned. So, in true form, the ship has suffered a malfunction, and uh, and we're now absolutely miles away from anywhere. Uh, but there's a jamming signal that is currently keeping us uh, stuck in this area. Uh, fortunately, there was a there's a there's a, uh, a little white arrow here that is showing us where that signal is. 
Things are steady on. Now, I don't want to ram into too many things because obviously the ship takes damage. And, uh, and your fail condition is when all your crew are dead or you're out of fuel or your ship blows up. The usual kind of fare. Uh, yeah, 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 no, 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 just terrible. Um, now, the, the ship itself handles like a pig um, and, uh, and slow and steady is the way to go. Uh, easy now, easy now. The, the good news is that the entire thing is mouse driven. Oh, uh, soaking up a little bit of whatever cosmic nonsense that is. Uh, let's just be a little bit more careful. Um, so, so yeah, I, basically every time I, I hit the mouse button, we, we apply some thrust. Uh, yeah, in we go. Let's, uh, let's go see what we've got here. Okay. Come on in, Kirsten. What have we got? Uh, Barasso to Daedalus 7. I'm entering the only structure now. Copy. Yes, come on. Trot, trot, trot on. Uh, beginning the exploration of the sphere. Everything's built to a much bigger than human scale. Much of it is rusted over. Giant glass capacitors crackle with trapped lightning. No sign of life or presence. Suit sensors say Ares. Ozone. Nitrogen. A few unidentified. And okay, found a door. Power still seems to be on. Looks like it's expecting some kind of signal. Ah, uh, let's give it this kind of signal. Wait, there's a computer terminal here, translating everything I say into symbols. It looks like it might be compatible with our technology. Someone come and collect it. Let's just go and grab the thing. Uh, right, okay, smashing. Let's uh, let's grab the uh, let's grab the, the doohickey here. No, I, I haven't got the doohickey yet. Well, well, stop messing around then. Continue. Install it. The door is curling open like some kind of flower made of aluminium. Walking through it, endless tunnels leave it in every direction, but a soft blue lights are heading me to some kind of control center. There's a cradle in the middle of the room, attached to the ceiling by wires. There's something inside it. A glowing cylinder. I can't explain it, but it calls to me. Splendid. Right, good. So, effectively, what that's that's just the universal translator that we've uh, we picked up there. Acknowledged. Should be free to go free this with a plasma torch. Got it. Wait. The humming air's gone. The sphere's shutting down around me. Returning to the ship. What I can. Smashing. So we've got ourselves a universal translator. Obviously, I do need to... Uh, I think I need to fix that to fit that to the ship. And then we can get out of here. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let's go... Let's go as far as here. Right about there. Lab. Uh, keystone. Uh, no, they can't figure it out. Nobody can figure this one out. All right, fine. In which case, we're probably all dandy. It, it's probably fine. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine here. Uh, so I want to clear this asteroid, well, this debris field here, so that we can uh, we can get out of it. Uh, we can uh, we can go on our merry way. Now, as tempting as it is to uh, to just you know turbo boost my my uh, my fine ship out of here that's what happens see you need to you need to be patient i'm sure that fire that we've got going on there is fine it's now suggesting that i hold both my uh, uh, my thrusters and my boosters uh, to to get me out of here but not until i've cleared the asteroid field here we go where's it up Activate. Right, so you're going to spend a long time doing this bit. Uh, we're, so we need to go to the nearby planet, which is fortunately here. Uh, let's get into into orbit, into orbit, into orbit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, not quite. Uh, hold on. Well, I'm concentrating less. I'll explain how this works. Basically, you. It, this is showing me the the path that my ship is going to take. Uh, the grid on the background, if you can make it out, shows the, the gravity wells uh, that exist. There we go. Right. Now, if you hold space once you're in, uh, in that orbital circle, the ship will gradually come into orbit. Um, now, here's the important part. We're about to send a, a lander down here. Um, we can scoop gas. Uh, we can drill for metals. So it's rock. Uh, we've got, uh, what have we got? Low gravity. Low gravity is important. Um, if we go for, if we, we try and land somewhere with uh, with poor weather or incredibly high gravity, our little lander is going to have a very tough time managing that. 
Now, again, uh, land of flight controls is all done on the mouse. Here we go. All right, ease it that way a little bit. All right, what, 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 thrust, thrust. And it can be quite deceptively fast. So over in the over in the top right there, you've got my uh, my current speed, and it, this will indicate uh, where I should land in order to uh, in order to get some goodies. Uh, and in the bottom left, I would point to it, but I'm flying my spaceship right now. We've got the uh, the whole uh, capacity, whole ship uh, damage, damage. How much damage I can handle? for the lander. Easy, 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 easy. That's the, I've got a side wind. Go this way. Oh, no, no, no. All right, okay, just roll it. Whatever. There we go. Clear it near enough? Not near enough. Go that way some. That way some more. Go that way. Get, that's it. Get it down. Get it down. Perfect, pretty much. Took a bit of damage, but that should be enough to drill. Right, magnesium. Uh, not even certain exactly what I want to use this for. Now, uh, that measurement on the uh, on the left hand side there is the uh, the riskiness of drilling. And as you can see, we took a bit of damage there from some risky drilling. Uh, so here we've got the uh, the whole strength of the lander. Then you've got the amount of fuel left in the lander, uh, followed by the condition of the pilot because we only send one person down. And then you've got some other stuff here, which if I, if I click on anything, no, you're not, you're not going to tell me. So, yeah, other stuff going on there. Now, in order to take off, all we have to do is uh, is take off. Well, we're off and away. Now, right, let's, uh, let's continue along. Now, I'm going to get out of here as soon as, uh, as, soon as my fuel starts looking critical, because obviously I need enough fuel to uh, yeah, break atmosphere. Close enough? Close enough? There we go. Let's go out for an explore. Incredible. This planet has erupted into flowers and formations of pure crystal. It's as if millions of reflections and rainbows were chucked inside, just waiting to be let out. Sure, let's explore. What can possibly go wrong? I've discovered an interesting looking plant. Scanner gives it the scientific name Malva amurensis, bringing back a sample. There we go. So we've got a you know, plant of some description there, which is uh, splendid. If I bought a botanist rather than scoffing at his very existence, that that might come in handy. But uh, but I didn't do that. So uh, so be it. Such is life. But I mean, frankly, a botanist isn't going to do an awful lot for my ship when we run out of juice. Uh, not even if he can grow potatoes. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Down to half a tank of fuel. Now, I want to grab... The hydrogen is under the blue... No, no, blue, 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 blue. Concentrate, man, concentrate. Never mind giving a, a cunning narrative of your plan. That'll do. Nah, 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 it's fine. Perfect. Right, get uh, drilling. Right, I'll take two, and that's it. Now, I'm, I'm pretty low on fuel. Now, this marker here, I'm pretty sure has got hydrogen under it, and I'm going to be very lucky if I actually manage to get to that. So I'll tell you what, we'll get a bunch of altitude, right? And then we'll head that way some. And that way, if it doesn't... Oh, well, yeah, never mind. No, not never mind. Go that way a bit. Cancel the, cancel the decline. I don't... I, this is really quite chancy. You know what I could do? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go back to the ship. I'm going to refuel the lander and I'll come back down for it. Smart move. Smart move. Yeah, see, they don't call me Captain Fantastic for nothing. Uh, I've got this sussed out. It's going to be fine. Right, uh, the resources. Oh uh, no, lander, lander, yes. Abandon that empty slot. We can put devices in it. That's that's nice. Where can I fill her up? I need to put some. I need to put some juice in the lander. 
unless I don't need to put some juice in the lander. We've got so we've got some hydrogen gas there, uh, which is good for refueling the. the all right, I've just refueled that. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that the lander's actually been refueled. I mean, it's a chancy guess, but it's a guess nonetheless. Uh, let's let's try it. So basically, we're going down for some more of what it was that I just uh, just used, and hopefully, I've still got some go go. Yeah, we are. We're max. We're at max fuel. Good. Here we go. There we go. Let it go down a bit. Up, 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 up. Now, what you want to do here is you want to be a little bit controlled over your descent, uh, which obviously I think you've you've already witnessed. I am uh, incredibly. Uh, incredibly capable star pilots land uh, and sticker in there go on that's it no how does one uh, a bit further maybe uh, too far too far okay oh, whoop, 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 whoop. and and come on land it ah hold, hold space to collect there we go did we get it? Oh, I see. Oh, flipping it. This is even more complicated. I've got to. i got to sit in the uh, in this exhaust thrust. Oh, steady on. No, 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 no. No, look, don't don't be too desperate to do it all in one go. We can we can do this quickly. And as you can see, there there is a bit of a breeze that is making this a little more tricky. Get some more. Get some more. I want more of it. That's good. That's three. Now the last one, it looked like it might be a bit chancy, but I think we're going to chance it. Right, taking some damage, but I've got the fuel. Let's get out of here. Right, so that's the uh, apparently the the expensive way to uh, to get more resources is to head down in the lander. Uh, trading for it will always be more effective, but you know I'm not uh, I'm not seeing too many trade options right now uh okay right let's uh let's break orbit here uh, which is always always chancy actually i want to have a quick look at the map before we do that so we're here what's that let's go find out shall we uh and break orbit there we go oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all right take some damage i don't mind uh fortunately the game's a little bit uh a little bit forgiving uh, on, I mean, I'm on Explorer mode, which is the uh, the easier of the two modes available. Um, but uh, instead of just slamming you into the planet like I would have done there, uh, it allows you to, uh, to to recover from that. So let's uh, let's just make out that that I did that absolutely perfectly. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Now it is possible to skim fuel from the sun. But as you can probably imagine, it, that's chancy, uh, for starters. Uh, but also, you need radiation shielding, which I don't currently have. Uh, without radiation shielding, it's effectively just a good way to get your crew murdered. Which, as I mentioned before, is not, not great. Right, here we go. And orbit me. Orbit accomplished. Right, we've got silicates on the surface. Uh, gravity's an average. The atmosphere's quite thick. Uh, nothing much else going down. So we could go and grab some silicates, I suppose. Um, on the res uh, on resources screen, use the metal to repair your ship. I should probably get on with that, shouldn't I? On the, use the metal. Magnesium. That's metal. Phosphates aren't metal. Uh, see, I know a thing or two. Uh, ship repair bench. Let's. Excellent. Right, good. Bit of repair going on. Uh, let's repair the lander while we're at it. Perfect. Uh, right. Do I want silicates? I probably do. But actually, uh, since we're just doing a fly pass of this system and, and the crew are itching to get home, as am I, uh, let's instead get out of here. Go on. Go on. There we go. And. We are off into the wilds of space. Although saying that, I do want to check out this asteroid belt. Just on the off chance there's anything riveting in there. We don't want to get too close to the flipping 
gravity well for the sun, though, because that could get quite exciting in a hurry. And this, you know, the the grid does a fine job at at, uh, at telling you what the uh, what the dealio is there. I, hold, on, hold on, hold on, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it. Right, uh, I want to go over here. That's it. Now, what do we do here? Oh, okay, it's engaged whatever thing it is that we're engaging here. All right, okay, oh, we're doing this again. All right, all right I, can, I, can, I can cope with that. Now, obviously, we don't want to drive into any of the asteroids, so we'll keep the speed uh, to, uh, to a walking pace. In a, in a galactic sense. Now, the good news is we've got fuel and we've got spare fuel. So, uh, so I can, I can afford to, uh, oh, hello, is that, is that one of the, yeah, that is, that's, that's having an arrow pointing at it. Right, what's, uh, what's going on here if we, if we engage with it? Asteroid coming. Maybe I need a switch to weapons. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not not quite getting it. Uh, maybe I need some mining equipment before I can do anything with this. Let's go check out another one. That was a bit close. Starting to be a bit, a bit cavalier with my ship manoeuvring. A mistake now could cost this crew dearly. Oh yeah, go for the Chansey route, why don't you? There we are, perfectly done. It's another one of these, look. Right, I'm going to try very gently ramming it. No, it doesn't doesn't seem to want to play without some other equipment that I may or may not have. Uh, I'm guessing I don't have it. Right, let's uh, let's boogie. All right, well, let's clear the asteroid belt. Steady, steady, steady. No, 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 no. We don't want to do ramming speed into the asteroids. That's that's a silly thing to do. Um, uh, and then let's uh, let's get out of this this accursed system where I am jammed, such that we may continue our voyage back to the homeland, so that I can file an official complaint with the manufacturers of this experimental warp engine that was supposed to be taking us on a brief stop to Alpha Centauri, but instead has sent us out into the arse end of the galaxy. No, 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 that's not it. There's still more asteroids there. This feels safe. No, it doesn't. This feels safe. Uh, actually, bring the map up. That will help to determine whether or not we feel safe. No? No, okay. Guess not. All right, get us out of here. Bosh. And now we can choose where we're going to go next. And if you want to see where that is, you're going to have to tune in next time. Thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Let me know what you think of the game. Um, uh, let me know how you think my amazing star piloting is and, uh, and whether you want uh, more fake Shatner or not. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the next episode. And cheerio. Thank you.